Hi and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make this headless hair curling rods fit. Print out your patterns that you can find by clicking on the link down below and follow the instructions provided to make the most of this tutorial. Ok, so first press your setting fabric to avoid any wrinkles. Then place your sewing patterns on top of it, following the grain line. And start cutting. All of your patterns already include a 1 cm seam allowance. Now you should have one curling rod piece. Two fluffy sized scrunchy pieces. Two regular sized scrunchy pieces. One or two padding pieces, your choice. You will also need an elastic band, a tool ribbon, a safety pin to turn the straps, and two pieces of the storage porch part. Take your scrunchy piece and fold it along the length. Then pin it before stitching. Leave about 3 cm gaps on each end. We'll use this to close our scrunchy. The process is the same for all the scrunchies, so for the sake of this tutorial, we're just gonna make one of them. Now take your safety pin and turn your piece onto the right side. Take the ends, stitch them right side to right side, and press. Next, take your elastic band and measure 17 cm of it. Then cut. With your safety pin, insert the elastic band inside of the scrunchie. Pull out the ends and stitch them together. Finally close your scrunchie. Fold the opening inside by 1 cm and top stitch as close to the edge as possible.
Now take your curling rod piece, hold it along the length, and stitch. Close one of the ends, leave the other one open so that you can turn your rod to the right side. Voila! Take your padding pieces, I cut two of them for more compact rod. We are going to use something like this, it's a tube to fill your rod. Make sure your padding pieces overlap each other perfectly. And start rolling. Now fill your rod. Once you're done, fold the upper end by 1 cm inside and top stitch both ends. And here is your curling rod. Let's move on to the next step. Take your storage pouch pieces and stitch them together, leaving the upper part open.
Take your sewing pattern, place it on top of your pouch, and with a tailor's chalk, mark the fold and stitch lines on top of your pouch. Now fold the upper part along the upper line Pin And stitch Then make two parallel stitches following the ribbon space lines. Cut the bottom corners before turning your pouch to the right side to make them neater. On the right side of your pouch, make two small incisions on each side of your ribbon space. Take your ribbon and cut it in half. With a safety pin, insert the first piece of ribbon inside of your ribbon space, following one direction. Next, do the same following the opposite direction. Good! Finally, make two small knots to secure your ribbons from fraying. And here is your pouch! Well done! These are our final products. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please do not forget to hit like and subscribe for more fun sewing projects. Share to a friend, comment. I really want to know your impressions, guys. Thank you so much for watching and be blessed.